This is part one of two lessons looking at finding the equation of a line. We're going to look at six different ways that we're going to do this. We're going to, first, we're going to look at find, given a slope and the line intercept, which is the easiest way. Second one is given the slope and a random point. Third one is going to be given two points. Then in lesson two, we're going to look at finding horizontal and vertical lines, ones with parallel and perpendicular lines. We're actually going to look at an application of where this could be used actually outside of the classroom. The first one we're going to look at is given the slope and a wider step. Write an equation of a line that has a slope of one-fourth and a y-intercept of zero, negative three. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some basic information. The way we're going to do this, we're going to actually use the slope-intercept form of the equation, which is y equals mx plus b. In this equation, m is my slope and b is my y-intercept. So we're going to take this information that's up here. The first thing is my slope is m, which so is m equals one fourth, and my b is negative three. Now, the negative three it comes from this y-intercept here. It's always the y piece and the and the point. So we write the equation, and now we're just going to plug in those two values. So we have one fourth x plus a negative three. Now you notice I put parentheses around the negative three. The formula has a plus in it. So now I want to remove the parentheses by making it a negative 3. You can put those two steps together. It's just as easy. But to not have the little mistakes with sign errors and everything else, it's nice to actually put the parentheses around and do it as two separate steps. So the equation for this line is y equals 1 fourth x minus 3. The next way we're going to look at it is if I'm giving you a slope and a point. Now, the y-intercept was a point. However, it was a very specific point that allowed me to do the equation a little bit easier. This point in this problem is to write an equation of a line that has a slope of negative 3. And it goes through point 1, negative 5. Now, this isn't a nice easy point because the x value is in 0. So we have to do it with a different equation. The equation that we're going to use for this one is known as the point slope form. If you notice, it's actually called what we have. We have a point and a slope, so we use the point slope form. In the last problem, we had a slope and a y-intercept, so therefore we use the slope-intercept form. This equation is a little more complex, though. We have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, in this problem, m is still my slope, as it is in all these problems, but the x1 and the y1 are my point. You notice that I don't have anything for the y and the x, because those pro points, those letters, actually stay in the problem, because I want my final equation to have a y and an x in them. So, we're going to come over here. My slope from this problem, m equals negative 3. And my point was 1, negative 5, so that means x1 is 1, and y1 is negative 5. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation. Again, you notice this theme, you always write the equations down, always write down your information, and then plug it. You try to go right from the problem to plugging it in, and that's where a lot of the mistakes happen. So here we have y minus, and you notice put parentheses around the negative 5, because there's a minus sign there, you really do want to do that. And it's a good habit to get into whenever you're plugging things in. m is negative 3, then times x minus 1. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those parentheses. So in this case I have y, two negatives right next to each other make a positive, so y plus 5. And now I have the negative 3 out here, so I'm going to distribute it to the two pieces inside. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times a negative 1 is a positive 3. Now we're going to use the solving of equations, which in this case we only really have to do one thing, because I want to get the y by itself. So I'm going to subtract the 5 from both sides. So I get my equation, y equals negative 3x minus 2. And that's my equation for the line. And if you noticed, so we're done with it, it's back in slope-intercept form of an equation. That's typically the way you want to leave your equation. There's another form called standard form, which has the x and the y on the same side. However, it's not as used as often as the slope-intercept form of the equation is. So we want to solve it for y at the end. The last way we're going to look at in this lesson is writing the equation given two points. So we write the equation of a line that goes through these two points, 1, negative 5, and 3, negative 1. Now, when you're looking at these two points, we don't have a slope anymore. And there's no equation that's actually called the two points equation. So when we look at this, we actually want to find our slope first. So we have our slope equation, y2 minus y1 equals over x2 minus x1, same equation we used before. So we're going to label our points. 
and we're going to find our slope. Let's plug my information in, so I have negative 1 minus negative 5, 3 minus 1, negative 1 minus a negative 5, those two negatives become a positive, so that's negative 1 plus 5, which is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. So my slope in this equation is 2. You notice I also labeled my points and plugged them in, and labeled my equation here. Now that we have our slope and we have a point, we can do what we just did in the last problem, which is use my point slope form of the equation. Okay? And you notice that I already have my point, I already have it labeled x1 and y1, so I don't have to relabel those points to actually plug it into my next thing. So I'm just going to write my equation out, plug in my information, so y minus parentheses negative 5 equals 2 times x minus 1. Get rid of my parentheses, so y plus 5, distribute the 2, so 2 times x, and 2 times negative 1 is 2x minus 2. And then we subtract the 5 from both sides, and we end up getting y equals 2x minus 7. And again, you notice the final equation is in the slope-intercept form. So we have our slope is 2, and in this case, my y-intercept is actually negative 7, which wasn't part of my original problem, but now we have that extra information that allows me to graph it quite easily. Please look for part two of this lesson to go through the other three ways that we're actually going to be able to write an equation. Safe.